We're gonna have to work quickly this morning. I've got three different kinds of ammo here. They have um, one thing in common other than caliber and bullet weight. And that is they're all labeled auto or semi-auto or AR, something like that. They're all marketed towards a semi-automatic rifle. Now, I think we all know that they function just fine in a bolt action. The question is, which one's going to be most accurate at 100 yards? And are any of them capable of hitting an egg at 200 yards? So the conditions are good right now. It's 30 degrees. The wind is like two miles per hour. Um, the gun's ready to go. We're going to load up some SK semi-auto rifle first. We'll take a few shots to warm up the barrel and get on target and then we'll reload the mag and go for a 10 shot group. Then we'll switch to CCI, shoot five fowlers and uh, hopefully can get on target in those five and then we'll do the same thing. 10 shot group and then we'll switch over to federal auto match. So let's see if the scope camera is going to work. So far, so good. We already have some Mirage from the sun beating down on the table. All right, here we go. Let's use the um, top right target for sighted. All right, let's come left couple clicks and down. Let's put five back in and go for our 10 shot group. And we're going to do these um, in rapid succession. So hopefully by the time we're all done, we'll have um, done it all in the same conditions. We don't want to have the wind kick up for uh, the last ammo here. All right, let's get on with uh, CCI. Now this stuff here actually makes a claim of one and a half inch groups at 100 yards in factory testing. kind of rifle they used uh, during their testing or what kind of barrel who knows how they tested but this here is a CZ 457 with the 16 take that back 18 and a half inch um, carbon fiber barrel has a 1 in 16 twist and it's pretty darn accurate hopefully we won't get any weirdness today and by that I mean from 
the cold temps and the barrel warming up and cooling down. But let's get on target with the, this stuff here. Well, that's encouraging. <clears throat> okay. There's our five fowlers. It looked like after the first shot, which was right in the bullseye, it started trending to the left. So we will hold an appropriate amount on the reticle. And these are our 10 shots for record. Make sure we're recording. Yep. Okay, looks like we're going to hold one inch. Light strike there. Oh, it looks like we have a magazine jam. bit of glare from the sun in my left eye. We're coming from the left side. I am impressed. Did not expect, <clears throat> did not expect a group like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, with this ammo. So, Federal Auto Match. Now, I would have expected that kind of group with the SK ammo. In fact, um, normally that semi-auto rifle from SK uh, is capable of one and a quarter inches at 100 yards with some decent consistency. Just um, did not show that today. So, here we go. Let's get on target real quick. a bit to the left. All right. Looks like we might only have to hold a half an inch or an inch uh, with this stuff here. Just, just slightly less than the CCI. All right, here we go. Ooh, it's a good thing I checked.
hard time seeing with that sun blaring on the left side of my face. I think that's it. Pleasantly surprised to say the least with that CCI AR tactical which if it does that well consistently and if it can hold a group at 200 yards um, that was a great find and discovery I got that at a local gun shop yesterday is it um, six dollars a box now it's supersonic but that's okay for clinking. I can't use that on the farms with uh, the ballistic crack. But, yeah, let's take a closer look at the group here. Get the GoPro back on the bench, warm it up a bit, because we definitely want to put that out at 200 for the eggs. Actually, none of it's terrible. Um, pretty decent. That's maybe... Um, inch and a quarter, inch and a half at the most. Um, that lived up to CCI's claims of one and a half inches at 100 yards. We'll measure those. And even that's not bad. That looks like maybe it's a full two inches. I'm not sure what's going on here. This camera has stopped recording twice now in the last two minutes. So, uh, Let's take this time to warm up uh, all three cameras and get those eggs set up at 200 yards. Put the GoPro down there and uh, hopefully with that in the scope cam and with the performance of the ammo, we can get some hits on those eggs. The downrange camera is rolling. Got three eggs out there, one for each of the ammos and they're up against a dirt bank, so uh, we should be good there. First up is Federal Auto Match. Since uh, we don't have to refoul if we use this ammo right now. A little bit of a wind from the right. We'll go for the egg on the far right. Ten shots initially for uh, each one. All right. Oh, third shot and just smoked it. I uh, wasn't expecting that kind of consistency out of this ammo based upon what it did at 100 yards because uh, when I initially was uh, dialing and zeroing for 200 it was sort of all over the place but those first two shots seemed to be uh, right on top of each other and it was just uh, walking it in based upon those first two shots and that third one was right on the money so let's take a few shots to get the CCI AR tactical um, get the barrel prepped for that see if it's hitting the same oh wow Uh, this is some super consistent stuff. What I might be doing when I leave here is going right back to that store 
and uh, buying some more of this. I think he just shot five and that was it. Yep. All right. Here we go. CCI AR Tactical. That hit uh, way lower than what those uh, first five fowlers did. Okay. Left. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Nice. Wow, same thing. Just uh, aside from that first shot, just uh, walked it right in there. So this ammo is very consistent. And I'm pretty sure it lived up to CCI's claims of an inch and a half at 100, which it's hard to beat that for the price. So now we have SK semi-auto rifle, which has no excuse. If the um, budget brands can do that at 200 yards, um, this stuff better do it. Now SK has been my preferred ammo. Normally I would be shooting SK long range match for uh, this kind of distance, but um, comparing uh, <laughs> this marketed ammo towards semi-autos, um, let's get the Fowlers in, get it dialed, and see if we can hit. Okay. Ooh, that one was supersonic. Wow, so was that. All right. Had to dial up two MOA from the other ammo because this stuff is not as hot. Let's see if we can do this uh, inside of five shots. Perfectly straight, it was like two inches low. Yes. SK ammo did not let me down. All right. Well, that's it for today. I'm going to stay and do some more plinking because it is super nice out. You could tell the wind is still down. Um, <clears throat> the sun is warming up this bench area. And yeah, I don't have anything else to do today anyway. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it entertaining. And I will see you all in the next video.